Greetings comrades, Soviet Gaming here. Today I will show you how to improve your power in the early game in Sino Lies to be competitive to access more of those events and be more powerful overall. So yeah, I've managed to reach 36k power without any significant issues in a few days of playing. Uh, I know it's not the best result, I haven't played it that much, I still have, as you can see here, a lot of energy that I haven't used because I don't have that much time right now, but as I can see from my guildies, there are some things that people just don't really know which will pump up your power right about now when you will do them. So let's go over each way of getting the power and I'll explain how to do it as free to play effectively in the early game. So basically guys, power comes from your stats and uh, in order to increase those you gotta upgrade your weapons this is pretty simple weapons armor and nightmares will give you stats that will give you power upgrading your class leveling it up uh, other than increasing the stats the common bonuses won't give you extra power so only those things will work and by power of course i mean points so in order to increase your points you gotta increase your stats in order to increase your stats you gotta upgrade your gear or equip another gear so first of all really important thing sub gear that you have over here uh, gives you only 10% of the stat that items have. So uh, all your sub weapons, sub armor and sub nightmares that you have over here won't be as efficient as if they would be equipped in the main gear slot over here. So if you have something upgraded, make sure to equip it on your main screen over here that will boost your power already quite a lot and make sure to equip all your best rarity stuff in your main skill set so for example if you have some a tier uh, gear over here in the main equipment and you have some s tier stuff in the sub equipment you want to move it to the main area that will give you more stats because well high rarity gives better stats if they are at the same level so for the sub gear it's pretty safe to press recommended and go for recommended gear usually the game will balance it out for you just perfectly so you don't really have to wander around and look for the items that are better than yours because most likely you won't find any all right so now we know that we have to equip our best stuff over here in the main setting but how do we upgrade it okay so now we know that we have to equip all our best items over here in the main gear slots and in order to increase amount of items that we can put here because we have quality of items over here like selected up to 20 i think and there is a cost as well so you can get all your best gear here just for now unless you will rank up ranking up increase the maximum cost of items that you can equip on your main setup and right now i actually leveled up a little bit and i can equip another item that will give me additional 683 power points there we go so we are up a little bit already now when you have all of those things equipped that goes for armor and nightmares of course you want to have the highest rarity nightmares over here as well you want to start upgrading your stuff because upgrades will help you so much to boost your points and uh, you don't want to upgrade only single thing like i did here with that rare item that didn't work well for me in reality after some time i realized that it's more efficient to level up all the stuff that you have over here so you can see that we have uh, S items being leveled up here as well because that will give you more stats and getting to the higher point tiers is really important to unlock more of those events that will give you even more items so it's really really nice to do so even upgrading something to level 15 will be more important then upgrading something for a few levels from 50 to 56 for example because it's easy to see the difference between level 15 item for example over here and uh, level 1 you will get 400 additional points that's a lot and like it stacks up if you have 10 items equipped each of those level 15 it will give you 4000 points that's a lot and that will help you to be better because those stats will help you to attack stronger so it's not only about the numbers it's about overall efficiency of your character moreover as far as i understood when you matchmaking with a team in the campaign in the story mode uh you are being assigned uh, ai players of the close to you amount of points so if you have the high points yourself you'll get stronger allies automatically that is pretty nice unless you kind of min maxing it by adjusting your friend list i don't really do that so yeah that's one of the additional bonuses of having high point stats yeah unluckily you can't truly really level up stuff by clicking it here so you gotta go to the upgrade menu 
you gotta go to the upgrade items come on upgrade gear and over here you gotta find the stuff that you want to upgrade so it's a little bit time consuming and you can upgrade the wrong thing actually because uh you can see that a lot of those things are equipped and not all of those are equipped on your main character that you want to upgrade so be careful about that you might want to just delete all those sets and have only one the main one and after that you can edit your setup and uh go to the sub gear and remove all of that so you won't really have anything extra for you in the upgrade menu that way you won't miss but yeah it's not really uh not really necessary guys yeah as you can see removing sub gear only lowered our points by 2k so that's how important it is to get the main stuff up so yeah let's go back to the upgrading uh over here you might want to go for the recommended to just get the levels because from what i think improving the skill levels of the s tier uh weapons isn't really efficient you just want to get some levels and as you can see just by equipping some of those a and b further stuff we're already getting a huge boost over 23 that will boost our stuff quite a lot so yeah if you're upgrading something like sr item that you will use later on uh, you might want to go for something that will boost its stats. So if we'll get some cool items into this step, uh, we will be able to upgrade the skills and it will be more efficient in the combat when you will use it. But right now I won't do that because I don't have that many items, so it's not really efficient for at this point, at the early points of the game. Let's get our recommended gear back and as you can see we are already at 37.7k points. As you can see it's pretty easy to grow points if you know what you're doing. Moreover it's really efficient to grind ranks, grind levels. So uh, that will increase your overall cap of the course that you can use to get more gear over here in the main gear equipment. Another important thing is limit breaking your gear and evolving it. If you can evolve your item right now you can do that of course because first of all that will improve your skill damage that's really really nice but but the item will reset to level one and then you'll have to level it up at least to level 35 45 somewhere like that there is a break point where you will start getting those stats of the previous unevolved item because when you evolve it resets to level one guys and as you can guess you don't get a lot of stats from that don't really worry about limit breaking before evolving gear as well because as you can see here our legendary steel dragon puppet can use the normal material sr1 to increase its stats so as you can see here we limit break it and we increased our maximum level but it doesn't give us any additional stats so yeah guys when you limit break the stuff you just give an additional level cap but you don't really gain anything else so unless everything is maxed it doesn't really worth it but anyway you can truly really use copy of your items in your setup in your layout in your skill set uh maybe it's a good idea to do i i'm not really sure about that but yeah it won't give you any efficiency if you buy some stuff to limit break your gear right now you'd better spend it on getting more of different weapons to upgrade them to actually put them in your main setup over here now another important thing about the gear in order to upgrade that you will most likely need the fodder that's the best way to get it and the easiest way to get the fodder is through the events through the events that are timed so i can't really get them here because my timing is really off like uh, my time zone isn't really working well with those but you can see when it's active by clicking notice in the menu and then when it will load you will scroll all the way down to the where is it over here to the squirming darkness armor upgrades and well we are more interested in in the in the weapon upgrades uh yeah those are the times when it's active for me <laughs> as you can see here those times aren't really working well for me and for the most people in the europe i guess so uh yeah but you really want to take part in those and spend your energy free energy over there if you're done with the campaign because this is the best way to get upgrade materials and those are really really good and they will boost your progress a lot so try to take part at least in one of those during the day at least in one of those another good way of getting the fodder for the upgrades of your weapons is going through the campaign because here you will get a lot of xp as you will progress you will also level up that will allow you to get more items on your grid on your layout and uh, you will get those uh, premium currency things and you will get the fodder drops as well moreover some of the stages have a chance to drop as tier nightmare 
which is really good as well. So yeah, just go through the all the campaign stages one after another, clear everything to get all, all the premium stuff. And in the end, you will get a lot of fodder materials, you will get a lot of those premium crystals, and you will get few levels that will allow you to equip better or more gear in your layout. So it's a win-win situation. If you haven't finished the campaign yet, please do. Just go through everything in order to access the second level of the campaign, second act. You just gotta clear chapter 5, you don't have to clear everything, as you can see here, I haven't cleared everything. But I would do it eventually and clear everything out in order to get as much of levels, ranks as possible. Because this is really cost efficient in terms of AP per XP per game. Also, after beating the first act, you will get access to the hard levels, but they don't really worth it, I just checked one of the levels, first of all, they are really hard and uh, you will get the same reward, so you won't get anything better here, at least in the first levels. So, yeah, there is no point going through the heavy mode, to, through the hard mode, if, uh, if you're not strong enough, so you will have a chance of failing, and yeah, just go for the next act or just clear everything. Another way of pumping up your points a little bit, not that much, is upgrading all of your classes to, um, to the points where they will get the passive buffs. So for the beginners, I strongly recommend getting everyone to class level 4, because that will allow you to get all those common buffs that apply to all your characters, so whoever you use, they will be working on, and after some time, when you played a little bit more and collected enough mastery, you might want to level them to level 7, so you will get all of those bonuses, maybe even level 8, so you can get all of those bonuses from all the guys, and uh, they will help, they won't be that much of a difference, but then again, they stack up, you have a lot of characters, you have a lot of classes, and uh, each of those upgrades will stay. But yeah, first four levels are really, really cheap, and you can get them without any problems. Another important thing that I want to mention is that you can go to the shop, don't worry, it's free to play friendly, no pay to win whatsoever, and you can get item sets over here. You go to items, and you have two of those sets here, uh, I don't know how many purchase do you have, but those sets are really really good you get one of the sr items with those so for the rear guard for the spell casters you get the second one for the vanguard for the weapon users for the uh, takers you get the first one and they have really really good stuff over there yeah you can get i think five of those so they're really worth it they will help you to get started because those items are pretty good they are powerful they will give you a lot of stats and they will give you a good points boost Another way of getting SR and really rare good stuff is going to the medal exchange. You can get those medals from all the sources, so for example in the charm medals you can get a lot of SR stuff. Not all of that stuff is expensive though, some of those cost 500, but I just bought... Uh, where is it? That dragon thingy. Yeah, I just bought sealed dragon puppet for 50 of those to show you how limit break works. If you'll check those deals, you will most likely find something that's cheap enough for you. So yeah, make sure to check every store over here and make sure, really important, to use the medals before they expire. So those event medals that we have over here, they will expire after some time and if you won't use them, they will just disappear. And when you get it, upgrade it normally, equip it here and uh, enjoy your power gains. So I think 37k points is really good for free to play who haven't really uh, farmed it at that much. I still have a lot of those, where are they? So the quick summary is uh, equip all your best gear in your main setup, in the main gear set. Uh, upgrade everything, don't focus on one item, um, spread your experience amongst as many things as possible, that will make it most cost efficient, get as many cool weapons as possible, cool nightmares as possible from the events and the stages, farm a lot of stages and events to get more upgrade materials and uh, rinse and repeat. Upgrade all the classes to level 4 to get additional small boost. And don't forget that the sub gear gives you only 10% of your item stats. Yeah, I think that's about it. If I miss something, let me know in the comments. I'll be glad to see you there. While you're going there, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and make sure to hit that small bell button over there and turn notifications to all. That will allow you not to skip any more videos on Sinualize or any other mobile games. Moreover, you might want to check the playlist down there in the description or in the pinned command of more Sinualize guides. Right now there are not many, but there will be more, I'm pretty sure about that. And also there is a link to the Discord, which you want to join, because we're building a fantastic community over there, and I want you to be part of it, and you want to be part of it as well. There is a link to the Twitch channel, 
There is a link to my website where I have the text guides. I have synchronized guides over there, so you might want to read them. They are updated, so if this video is outdated, that guide will be updated and fresh. And of course, you can support the channel by becoming the YouTube member. The link is down there as well, or there is a button right next to the subscribe. So you will get some cool emotes, Ushanka, and uh, I'll be really grateful to you. Also, there is a link to the Twitch channel there. I play a lot of PC games, mostly strategies and RPGs, no battle royale whatsoever. And uh, I tend to play hard games like Dark Souls, that kind of stuff. And they are challenging and I'm struggling. So if you like to see people struggling, take a look, you'll like it. What else do we have? We also have the links over here and in the description for the social media. You might want to join that just for the sake of joining it. They are not really active right now, but I would like to see you there. That's about it for now. Thank you for watching. Sort it out. До свидания.